Even during COVID-19, people are trying to keep up with fall traditions, but this year comes with some changes. News for Jacks reporter Maggie Loren stopped by one of the largest pumpkin patches in Jacksonville, set to open tomorrow. We're here. Pumpkin patch um, starts tomorrow. Right now, 2,800 pumpkins are on their way to Mandarin United Methodist Church, and that's just the first of four truckloads. The patch this year will have some great pumpkins. Conley Hobby, or the Great Pumpkin, as he's affectionately called, has been the patch coordinator since it started. Tomorrow will be our 32nd year of operations. But he knows some people were hesitant about opening their patch this year. Many pumpkin patches in the area have decided not to have a pumpkin patch. So Mandarin United Methodist Church is probably going to be one of the biggest pumpkin patches in Jacksonville this year. In normal times, this would have been your only rule. Don't pick the pumpkin up by the stem. But now, because of COVID, we have safety precautions in place. We Director of Youth Ministry that. Paula Coker-Jones says they're being careful. Sanitizer stations. We are asking people to bring their own water bottles. We're not providing water fountains or coolers. And then we are also asking people to stay um, six feet apart. You know, stay with your family, but social distance with everyone else. Come tomorrow, these rows will look completely different. Hundreds of pumpkins. And when you come for your pick of the patch, you will have to wear a mask. If you forget one, it's okay. We will have disposable masks available to the public. Um, but we do ask that you bring one from home. So that you don't squash together, volunteers may also ask people to wait in their cars if there's a line. In Mandarin, bringing you The Scoop, I'm Maggie Lorenz, Channel 4, the local station. Thank you, Maggie. Here's some other fall events happening this weekend in our area. A modified version of the Clay County Fair kicks off tonight. It lasts through Sunday. 13th floor haunted house on Arlington Expressway will have shows every weekend through November 7th. At the beach tomorrow, there will be a fall art market at Seawalk Pavilion in Jack's Beach. And in St. John's County, this is the last weekend to shop at the St. Augustine Flea Market, which is closing after 35 years.